It may look, sound and drive like a petrol car, but this motor gets the green stamp of approval. It's been converted to run on hydrogen, which releases zero harmful carbon emissions. RTM Power has taken 15 years to develop the revolutionary fueling system, which could make hydrogen cars a reality. This is a global first, really. Um, over the last 20 years, most of the large car manufacturers have been trying to develop hydrogen-powered cars, and one of the great problems that they've been facing is where do you refuel your car with hydrogen? What we've developed is a machine that can take water and electricity and make hydrogen to refuel your car. This means that the hydrogen infrastructure has already been built because virtually everywhere in the developed world has got water and electricity. And this machine that looks a bit like a refrigerator plugs into your water and your electricity just like a washing machine and it'll make uh, uh, hydrogen for you to refuel your car. The pump uses an electrolyzer to generate hydrogen gas from a supply of water and renewable electricity from wind, wave, solar or nuclear energy. There are also blueprints for low-cost refueling stations to overcome the lack of a hydrogen refueling infrastructure. It is a very light gas and it floats out through the atmosphere into space. Um, so we find it where it's bound to water. If you take an energy, say solar electricity, you can split water into hydrogen and oxygen and make hydrogen gas. And the oxygen is then vented free to the atmosphere. You put the hydrogen in a car engine, for instance, and when you're driving, you can't tell the difference between hydrogen or petrol. But when you burn hydrogen, it recombines with oxygen it, exactly the same amount as you've released when you split the water and just makes water again, water vapor. So it's a zero polluting energy system, and it means that we can become sustainable. With just one switch, it converts from polluting petrol to clean hydrogen, when carbon dioxide emissions plummet to virtually zero. ITM is in talks with several global car manufacturers and hopes to see its refueling stations into mass production in the next two years at a fraction of the cost of traditional fuel cells. The amount of energy that mankind uses in a year is less than the amount of energy that arrives at the Earth in sunlight in one hour. There is an enormous quantity of energy available. The problem is that we haven't been able to access it and use it as we need it. This technology means that we'll be able to take some of that intermittent renewable energy and make it into a fuel which we can then use to displace fossil fuels. So really the technology and the implications of this are that we can now actually commercially enter the hydrogen age. This breakthrough in the hydrogen fuel industry could herald the beginning of the end of dependence on fossil fuels, an important step in harnessing renewable energy in the global race against climate change.